who will be the number two seed in Oh. Okay. Oh, look okay. at that blackboard. Okay, Ooh, graphics. Okay. okay. I see graphics. you, graphics. I see you. <laughs> Okay. Talk Ooh. about it. Um, talk right. about it. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about it. Nate, talk is that about it. Oh, chalk about it. That's good stuff. Chalk Nate. about it. Let's Let's it. Let's Let's chalk about it. I love it. Go. All right, here, I'm going to go. You guys, you guys chalk about it. Settle I'm down, go students. Right. My bad. <laughs> My number two <laughs> seed in, in the NFC is one that no one else will have. All right? I, th I think that might be mine. Okay. I think that the Carolina yes! Panthers have caught fire. And I think the Carolina Panthers, this is the team to watch right now. They keep pounding. Think, hey, we talked about it yesterday. You said, but they're not consistent. Cam Newton's shoulder is healthy. They're coming off a bye week this week. And right now, they're sitting pretty right there. It's 7-3 and three with nobody talking about the Panthers. They got the Jets this weekend in New York. It's a big game. Cold weather. What can Cam do? But I love the bye week coming this late in the season. And I love the offense and the yeah. defense. And what we saw from them Monday night against the Dolphins last week was the most dominant team in football when playing at 100%. And they get Greg back. Oh, they get Greg back. I'll pile on. Look, it would be Vikings and Saints would be going chalk in this. But I will go also <laughs> with the Panthers. They scared the hell out of me that night. When Cam Newton broke that run down the middle, I said, 2015 hashtag that is it. We mm. said he's free. Be, be yourself. Live your best life. Never mind being conservative. Break the diet. Get out of there. That night scared the hell out of me and the NFC. I know the Saints are good. I know the Vikings are right. good. I think it's going to be the Panthers. I genuinely do. Peter, yes. we love it. But the, but the Saints aren't just good. They're great. No, they're great. You guys are talking about them like they're not one of the hottest and teams. And they beat the Panthers. And they beat the Panthers. Long time ago. The Eagles, of course, the number one team, right? But the, the team that's just as hot as them, second longest win streak, is the Saints. And you got Drew Brees, the Hall of Fame quarterback. Within the last few weeks, he showed us a couple things. One, he could win a game without throwing a touchdown, which blows your mind. And then he said, okay, when we are behind, I need to throw. I can throw my team into a victory. So if you're looking at the Saints team, this could be the scariest out of all of them. I don't care what seed the Saints get. They're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, we'll Super Bowl. Them. I don't know why the I'm, chips. I am standing for those Saints. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know what got into me. But I am. All, right. all right, let's I talk like about it. the what, guys. Let's okay. move on to the what here in journalism school. What team currently outside the playoffs is going to do a little sneak in? Okay. I feel like it's this uh, this ex-girlfriend that I, I want to get back together with so badly. It's the Chargers. I'm going <laughs> to oh say the Chargers. Here we go. Yes, make out Christmas. And it's perfect. It's L.A. Like it's sort of she's sort of a crazy girl, and say, we're getting back together. You know why? Because they're the best team in their division. I'll, I'll say it. they are the best team. Now, granted, they just beat uh, Nathan Peterman. I understand he threw five interceptions, but with what's happening with the Chiefs, with what's happening with the Raiders, I cannot quit the Chargers. I think they're going to get hot in the stub and sneak in. That's my call. Chargers. Well, I'm going to go with the ex-girlfriend of mine, too. We got the Seattle Seahawks. Oh. You know, and listen, there's a lot of issues right now. You know, she doesn't have a job. She doesn't <laughs> like to hang out past 10. But I just loud can't quit her either. Loud. Yeah, really loud. But, you know, I like her, though. Here's the thing. I'm looking at Russell yeah, Wilson, and he's just carrying this team. And he's doing every single thing he can do to keep his team in the game. And he's the number one reason. Even with Richard Sherman on the sideline, Cliff Aver on the sideline, Camp Chancellor on the sideline, inconsistent. He was the leading rusher last night, and still, mm -hmm. they take that L, but I believe in Russ, so I'm going with Seattle Seahawks. You know what's awkward? When uh, the person that I'm thinking is also your ex-girlfriend, the Detroit Lions. No. Nate, <laughs> it's got a lot of exes. Nate has a lot of exes. <laughs> you ever uh, had a fling with the Browns, remember that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> a one-night stand. Anyway. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Why the Lions? The Lions, to me, 6-4, right? and four, okay, and they play the Vikings at home on Thanksgiving. If they win that game, they're suddenly 7-4, and four, having swept the, the Vikings. And do not play another team above 500 the rest of the way. Mm. I trust Matthew Stafford in November. He hasn't lost in November in two years. And I'm putting my chips in on the Lions. I think they make a run. I like mm. the Lions, too. I like their schedule, what they do when they get there. Another question.